Kumbaya, my Lord. Kumbaya. Sing with me. Kumbaya, my Lord. Kumbaya. Nice. Kumbaya, my Lord. Kumbaya. Done. Growing up in South Georgia, some of my fondest childhood memories are of campfires and sing-alongs. Close friends and family gathered by a warm fire, just celebrating being together. When we gather near a warm fire and sing, somehow it feels as if the fire illuminates the music, that there's a connection between the two. If you think about it, Music and fire have a long history together, and we connect using fire in all sorts of ways. We sing camp songs by the campfire, carols by candlelight. We tell stories by fireplaces. We light candles and sing around birthday cakes. Fire draws us in and closer to each other by gathering near it, and then it becomes a place where we connect on a deeper level. I actually spend the majority of my year thinking about this connection between fire and music. For the last decade, it's been my job to plan and execute the year-long creative and music de development process for Macy's Fourth of July fireworks, America's largest Independence Day celebration right here in New York City. I guess you could say our team is responsible for lighting the 50,000 pyrotechnic birthday candles on America's birthday cake. And really, in many ways, planning the music for a fireworks show in the sky above millions of spectators is no different than lighting candles on a cake or building a fire and playing this guitar. The principle's the same. We build fire, fire draws us in, and then we're inspired to share our songs and our stories with each other. We connect and we celebrate. On July 4th, fireworks shows across the country serve as American campfires and patriotic anthems are camp songs. Now, as a songwriter myself, I've noticed a few things over the years about patriotic music and American audiences. Uh, we love to tap our toe to something we know, especially on a holiday like July 4th. It's important we experience music that's familiar, that resonates on an emotional level and ignites a sense of patriotism. Selecting these patriotic camp songs is a critical first step early in the fireworks design process. Uh, it's important that we select these songs because they create emotional intention in key moments throughout the show. And then once the full symphonic score is complete, then the pyrotechnics are selected to match the sound of the music in perfect synchronicity. So it's music first, fire second. All right, so what makes a fireworks moment meaningful? Well, it always begins with a song. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside. Now what happens if we take this simple fireside arrangement and translate it to the sky? Here's Miss C.C. Winans. solo moments allow the show to slow down and the audience to reflect in a personal way on their individual pride and patriotism. Of course, in order for any show to build, we need music with greater fanfare and intensity. Uh, full symphonic orchestrations combined with vocal harmony create musical reminders that we all have a place by the fire. 
Let's listen to the vocal harmony of the Broadway inspirational voices as they sing this gospel arrangement of God Bless America. Now, without the music, we're just watching beautiful bombs bursting in air. It's the combination of visual design, lush orchestrations, and massive choral arrangements, fire, music, spectacle, all combined. These are the fireworks moments that move and overwhelm us, that connect us, not just to each other, but to past generations. a spectacular show. But you know, sometimes I wish everyone could see the 4th of July show that I see. Seconds before the first shells burst in the air, I lead the audience in a countdown. And with my back to the barges, I stare out at the crowd. Millions of people standing side by side, gathered at the water's edge at dusk. Kids on shoulders, families huddled together. Millions of strangers who decide to show up together to honor tradition and celebrate our nation's birth. And then for the next 25 minutes, their faces are a sea of colored light, firelight, expressions full of gratitude, voices raised in song. Fireworks, they're extraordinary. And music, it stirs our soul, but maybe what we crave the real show of patriotism, the real spectacle, lies in the shared experience when in the light of a fire we stand united. For a moment, our perspectives change and we can see each other differently. This 4th of July, I promise to build a fire. I invite you all to gather close and sing along. Kumbaya, my Lord, Kumbaya, sing, Kumbaya, my Lord, 